using bridging finance to buy a new property before selling your current. Mr. and Mrs. Harris own a house valued at £600,000, which has a £50,000 mortgage. They want to downsize and their ideal home is for sale at £350,000. Mr. and Mrs. Harris want to secure the new property, but have yet to sell their own. Having little savings, the Harrises need to borrow the full £350,000 but do not have the required provable income to obtain a standard mortgage. A bridging loan, not requiring monthly payments, is the perfect option and repaid by the sale of the current property. Combine valuations of the properties £600,000 and £350,000 equals £950,000. Total borrowing required of £350,000 plus remaining outstanding mortgage of £50,000. Total loans of £400,000. £400,000 divided by £950,000 times 100 equals a loan to value or LTV of approximately 45% well within the lender's maximum 75-80% to 80 limit. Normally, the lower the LTV, the better the interest rate. Mr. and Mrs. Harris sold their current property three months and three days after taking out the bridging loan and cleared £600,000, which was used as follows. Sale price, £600,000. Outstanding mortgage to be repaid, £50,000. Outstanding bridging loan to be repaid, £350,000. Mr. and Mrs. Harris paid all fees and generated interest separately, so they are left with £200,000 after the sale of their current property and repayment of secured debts. The new property is now free from borrowing.